Hi everyone, Tinkerman RC coming at you today with the new F14 Tomcat build video. And this Tomcat is by Blitz RC Works. You can get it at www.bananahobby.com. They make the kit. It's a ready to fly kit. It comes uh, in the box, ready to fly, but there is some assembly required, even though they say ready to fly. And that's what we are going to do here today. Okay, everyone, what we've got here is uh, we kind of I kind of previewed the uh, instruction manual and got some idea how this thing goes together. They, get, they uh, call this the wing box section here for the wings. It's the main piece that's going to snap in like that. And our wings are, are going to go in on each side into the unit like this, into the center section. We have our all our pieces here that are going to be assembled in the, in the unit. We're going to get that together. Also, the kit comes with some extra fans. Our landing gear, our missile pods, and our vertical stabilizer. So, what we're going to do right now is we're going to get this together. There's a cable that runs along here. we got a, a servo arm that hooks here, a cable system that's going to turn these two wings here. This is how the kit comes from Blitz RC. There is some assembly required, even though it is a ready to fly. And as you can see, that's how the wings are going to move once we get the uh, wings installed. There, like I said, there's a, a piece that goes in here. The cable units hook onto these two pieces here. We got our center pins that we're going to install. And we're going to get this wing installation complete. And then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, our elevators are going to be glued in with the servos. Again, as you can see, we've got our pieces here. We'll move that over here. Kind of set that like that. We've got our pieces here. And once we get these assembled and hooked up to the uh, servos, the next part of the process is I want to show you one. We got our flight deck cockpit assembly. You can sit on there like that. Uh, this is our this is our plate that's going to sit on top of the model. It goes through a screw there. And also, what we also have is we've got our battery. This is the four cell battery that comes with the kit. Once we get all that installed, and by the way, these are all the pieces that come in the kit right here. Um, we got our nose piece, we got our, our fins. This is all the kit. Landing gear, uh, as you can see here, we've got our air retracts here. Um, if you look down inside here, you can see the 60 millimeter. The 60 millimeter um, fans, ducted fans, in the Tomcat, and you can see the two ESCs that power that are going to give power to the unit. It comes pre-installed this way. We've also got our nose gear retract. It's an air retract. We've got our front servo that's going to power that. For, for oh, I'm sorry, that's going to be our nose gear steering. Our wheel pans here that's going to set in like this for the retracts. That's kind of kind of set in there like that. So when the gear comes up, it has a it has a place to go. We've got inside here, and we can see they've got a, it's pretty kind of a mess here. String a bunch of wires. We've got our um, all our servo connections in here. We've got our air leads. We've got our air leads here that we're going to have to hook up. Our tank is going to go in like this, okay, according to directions. So we've got quite a bit of work. And that's just gonna, that's just a basic overview of what I've got to do on this assembly. Okay, where we left off last time was we had everything out showing you what the kit came in the kit. One thing I wanted to point out was the missile kit. The missiles come with the airplane. They're in the uh, box here in the back. There's a panel in the back of this box. That, that's where the missiles are. All right, and the next thing I wanted to point out was the pilot. You only get one pilot, so I ordered another pilot. They're five dollars, and I also have an instrument kit that I'm going to put in the uh, an instrument kit here that is going to be into the uh, cockpit. This is going to be a little bit of detail with our pilot here, so we'll get that later on in the kit. All right, up here on the F-14, we do have our wings installed. I wanted to go over that. We have an we have our aileron installed, and we have a, an elevator installed. Okay, as you can see, I've got a bunch of wires here. I did pre-install my uh, AR6200 receiver so that I can set up my uh, wing installation. 
All right, one thing I want to point out here is this is the main uh, spar of the wing. Um, as you can see here, I epoxied it in rather than used the uh, CA glue because I want it to be strong. So I've got her epoxied in and we're going to fi fire it up here in a minute, but I want to show you what I've got underneath. Okay, the kit does not come with ailerons, servos, okay? This is the way the kit comes over here, as you can see. The ailerons are not cut out, and you're missing a servo. Although there is a cutout for the servo, you have to install it yourself. If you come on over here to the other side, you can see that I've got the servo already installed. Okay, and I got the wire running underneath, so I've got the, I, I cut out, I made my cutout for the aileron. I've got my servo installed, I got my wire run up through here. I also want to come back here in the back and point out also while I got the model uh, upside down is I have the, uh, one of the uh, elevators installed and, and one thing I want to tell you about this is you want to epoxy in the rod. I've got her all epoxied in. As you can see, I don't have the other side installed because I wanted to show you what it looked like. And here's the other one. And she just kind of plugs in like that. And then there's a piece that goes in like this. So this piece here is going to go in and tighten up. So, and I've got it installed over there. So this piece will go in. Tighten up, and that, that's how it goes. Your uh, other elevator is installed, as you can see, and then you just run your rod up. Okay. Now, back on top here, during the wing installation, all right, I'm going to run it for you. One thing you got to do is, when you set these wings up, you want to make sure that the wings move freely, that they're not binding, that they're not tight, because it's hard on the servo. And the rod here, we had to shorten these rods up to get them rigged, okay? And also, the, the wire that is running from our servo kind of runs underneath here and goes, I, I, they, don't, they don't tell you this in the directions, but what you have to do is you have to come out of the, of the wing, go underneath the spar, and kind of run along the frame here and go down in, and that's what I did for the other one. This side, as you can see, isn't done, okay? And let's go ahead and power it up. Also, we uh, got the tail feathers installed. Okay, that's simple. They just CA glue, set them in place. But this is the tricky part right here I wanted to go over with you. Now, this looks like a bird's nest here. I know this will be all straightened up and all the wires will be run neat. But for now, I've got it set in like this. Let's go ahead and turn on our receiver and power this thing up and show you what we've got. First time I want to show you is how the wings shut, okay? I've got the wings on the aux button on the DX6i, okay? The wings are on the aux button, and I've got the gear on, on the, on the uh, gear button. So we're going to go ahead and operate the wings. Here we go. There's aft. There's forward, okay? Again, um, as you can see, the servo moves. There's your aft position. With the wings aft, and there's forward. Okay, also, you, you can see where the wire, it's a little bit loose in here, that shouldn't pose a problem. I'll get this fixed up, I just wanted to show you that. That's where the wire runs down again. And when you see, the, when you see it move, it just comes right in real nice. Now the servo is humming a little bit, that's okay. I checked it, it's not binding, it's just making that noise, and we're okay. Okay, back here on the elevator. Um, I wanted to point out, I've got it installed, there's up, there's down, up, down. Okay, also over on our left wing, we've got our uh, aileron, there's our aileron, he's all installed. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to install, I just wanted to give you a preview, one flight control is installed and one is not, so that you can see what you're dealing with when you, when you get the model out of the box. So like I said, I had to cut that out and get that installed. Okay, and she does have power, you can see. That's a quick run-up, she's going to make some good power. We're going to turn this over because there is one feature I want to point out.